Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to cash out a paper wallet for your Cardano using the Daedalus Cardano wallet. So let's get going. Okay, so uh, I did a video recently about how to create a paper wallet for uh, Cardano or ADA using the Daedalus uh, Cardano wallet. And a few of my viewers said, gee, how do you cash out? So uh, I figured I would do a little follow up quick and easy. How do you uh, cash out a paper wallet? Well, in this case, uh, we call it importing or sweeping the private keys back into an, uh, a desktop wallet. So let me show you how that works. So I've got my Daedalus wallet going here and you can see I've got a couple of wallets that are near empty and uh, I do have a paper wallet. So uh, let me show you that one. Now when I created this paper wallet I uh, bookmarked the address in my web browser so that uh, I can always go back and check out the current balance of the wallet. So in this case uh, the wallet has a little bit more than 200 Cardano in it. So I have this nifty little uh, paper wallet uh, with a Cardano balance in it. There's 200 Cardano in it and it is uh, only accessible to someone who actually possesses this uh, paper wallet. And uh, it's a cool thing you can use to store Cardano long term very safely, put it in a place where no one can find it. But the question is, how do I get my Cardano out of it if I decide I want to cash out or sell my Cardano? So pretty straightforward. Let me show you how you do it. So uh, basically, uh, you're going to open up your wallet and you're going to pull out this little private key. And you're going to go back to your Cardano wallet, the desktop wallet. And we're going to go down to this little plus and click add wallet. And then uh, instead of create, we're going to choose restore. And you'll see there's a backup recovery phrase option on this side, on this tab. Uh, for those of you who have backed up your original seed phrase and wish to restore. And then there's this paper wallet certificate tab. And it has two fields, wallet name and recovery phrase. All right, now the wallet name doesn't matter. You can name it anything you want to. It doesn't have to be the name of the original wallet that you used to create the paper wallet or transfer into the paper wallet. It doesn't have to be the name of the paper wallet, which really wasn't given a name. Uh, so you can create anything you want. So we can call this one a restored right just whatever we want to name it and then now all we have to do is enter that seed phrase so I'm gonna do that 27 words Okay, now that we've entered uh, all 27 words into the restore wallet uh, area, we can scroll down a bit here and uh, now we can add a password. The paper wallet had no password. There, you had the private key. Uh, so now that we've entered the private uh, key phrase, uh, we can add a password so that once this wallet is created, it will uh, be password protected. You don't have to do this. It can be just an open wallet. But if you leave your wallets open, then anyone that sits down at your computer will have access to your wallet. So uh, let's add a little password. All right, and then we just click this little button that says Restore Wallet. All right, and then it begins the restore process. And as you can see, that, that balance, that the entire balance uh, is restored uh, to this uh, new desktop wallet. And uh, once you've done that, once you've taken that paper wallet balance and restored it into the wallet, your paper wallet is now empty. You know, you can just tear it up and throw it away. It's not going to do anything. Now, and, and keep in mind, when you do this, it takes the entire balance out of the wallet. So there's no way to, like, withdraw a part of what's in the paper wallet, right? So uh, once you do this restore, you're going to remove the entire balance from the paper wallet into a new wallet in Dallas. And then at that point, you have all of the features. You can send, receive, uh, you know, do everything you normally would do in Dallas. 
right? Now, let's say that you have uh, a paper wallet and you've got 10,000 ADA in there and you would like to maybe take part of it out. Well, the smart thing to do would be to think ahead before that and maybe create several paper wallets. Uh, maybe each of them having uh, only 5,000 in there or 1,000 in there. And then, you know, uh, carefully mark on there what their balance is or, you know, check online by scanning the QR code. And then just uh, restore those wallets uh, when you need the money or you want to trade or whatever. So uh, that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Now you'll notice up here that it's going to take a while. I'm not really sure why it takes quite so long, but I guess it's a process of going through the blockchain and uh, retrieving this balance. Uh, also, uh, it says one hour and 54 minutes. It might be quicker than that. Uh, it might not. I've had one tell me it was going to take two weeks, and then after a few minutes it, it adjusted down to like less than an hour. So uh, it'll vary depending on your use. But that's how you do it. And like I said, once you get this wallet completely restored, it'll be just like any of your other wallets. You can send and receive funds from them uh, and do whatever you would normally do with a wallet. So that's it. So I'd like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Join me for the live Q&A in LA. I look forward to seeing you there and you can throw out any questions that you may have. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. And if you're on Steemit, give me an upvote. I appreciate it. Thanks again and hope to see you soon.